Math 230, Quest to College. I'm Joe Vasta and we're going to cover section 1.5 which is titled Coins and Children. It's not a very long section and it won't take you a long time to do homework in this section. But um, before we do that, here's our puzzle of the day. Which word does not belong? So at the very end of this video, we'll point out which word doesn't belong. These are optional puzzles here. And so, flip a coin five times. How many different ways can the outcome have exactly three heads? Okay, let's go back to when we were doing direct routes. And let's just do this problem here. Okay. So remember we did this in an earlier lecture. How many direct routes are there from A to B? And what you would do is you would say, Oh, I mean, when we first did this, we would say a direct route would be like, um, let's just say up, up, right, right, right. So let me write that up, up, right, right, right. Another direct route would be maybe you can go to the right first and then up, right, right, up. So let me write that down. Right, up, right, right, up. And the list goes on. But we found out that we can do this problem really quickly. There's no barricades. We can say that there are two ups and three rights, which would give us a total of five. And then we would go to Pascal's triangle, row five, and we would count over two or three. So here's Pascal's triangle, row five, and you'd put your finger on that first part right there and you'd count over two, which gives you 10, or three, which gives you 10. And so then there are 10 possible direct routes from A to B. So I know some of you are going, well, Joe, why are you doing this? Because this problem is going to be very similar to the one that's asked. You flip a coin five times. Now we can flip five coins if you want. That's the same thing as saying flip a coin five times. How many different ways can the outcome have exactly three heads? Well, when they say three heads, they also mean it's going to have two tails. Now the first way we can do this problem is to start listing all the things that can happen. Like you can say that we can have tail, tail, head, 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 or maybe we can have what? Head, tail, head, head, tail. So there's got to be three H's and two T's when you write this out. Does this look familiar? And the answer is yes. This is you had to have three R's and two U's. And you know, we can write all 10 of them down, but we don't have to because they're not asking us to write all the possibilities. They're saying how many different ways. And so since we're flipping a coin five times, that's the row you go to, row five. And then because it's three heads, you move over three. So I'm gonna circle this problem in orange. We're gonna go back to Pascal's triangle. We know the answer. So you would, if you had a problem like this, you flip a coin five times, go to row five, three heads, so I go one, two, three. There it is. So remember the first row of Pascal's triangle is called row zero. 
That's why this one's called row 5. And then the first entry is called entry 0, so I moved over 1, 2, 3 to entry 3. See, entry 0, entry 1, entry 2, entry 3. And so that's how you do the problems. Of course, you could have counted over 2 because you had two tails. Um, when you do your homework in 1.5, once again, it should not take a long time. Let's go ahead and do two more problems from 1.5. Flip a coin eight times. We're going to circle this one in green. How many different ways can the outcome have exactly six heads? Okay, so we go to row eight. and count over six. So let's do that. Row eight, which is the one that has the eight in it, and I'm gonna count over six, not counting that one. So a common mistake is people go one, two, and that you're gonna get the wrong answer. So here's row eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. The answer is 28. how you do that. Now, could we have started listing these out and go heads, 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 tails, tails? That's one way. And then you can go heads, 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 tails, heads, tails. That's the second way. You'd have to count 28 of those. And that's not fun to do. Okay, let's go ahead and do our last problem. This section was called Coins and Children. So we'll do this one in blue, and I'm not going to write row and count over, but it's just like the coins, heads and tails, except now we'll, we'll say girls, see four girls, and boys. So how many ways can a family with six children have exactly four girls? Now nah, I'm going to go ahead and do this. I said I wasn't going to. So six is kind of like how many coins you have. That's the row you go to. And four... That's what you're going to count over. Now, when they have four girls, then we can assume that, just to make things simple here, that there would be two boys. But I'm going to count over four. So row six, count over four. Row six, count over four. One, two, three, four. And that gives me 15. So notice if, if I had counted over two for the boys, one, two, I would have got 15 because of the symmetry of Pascal's triangle. So 15 is the answer. That completes 1.5. Let's go ahead and look at the puzzle now. Which word does not belong? Now, know that you might be working on these and you might actually end up getting another word that doesn't belong and you're just seeing something differently, something that I haven't seen. So the word that does not belong, the way that I'm looking at it, stand. Why? Because all the other words Remain words if you take the first letter off. Train, rain, and then the next one, wheat, heat, ever, nail, hat, tar, eel. If you take an S off that, tanned, I don't think you can find that in the dictionary. So this completes chapter 1. So not only 1.5 is done, but chapter 1 is done. And just a reminder, when you're studying for the tests, each chapter has a chapter review, and the chapter review for chapters one and two, because we haven't, we're going to get into chapter two next. That happens to be a very good model for exam one. So do your homework. Don't save up your homework till the last day. You want to get it done and get this stuff in your head. And I'll see you on the next video.